Hello and welcome to the Thursday night GT3 Championship from Race Department on Project Cars. This is round 9 from Monaco, the sprint race. So the top 5 finishers from the feature race will be starting from the back. And we all know how tight and twisty Monaco is. And just how hard it will be to overtake. So let's see how the drivers fare. Matt took his first pole position of the season ahead of Adam who I'm now starting to think let Amari through at the end of the feature race for a good qualifying position in the sprint race. Hashtag controversial. Benji and Jeremy shared row two. Ben, who was still struggling, was ahead of Lance, Ramsey and Frank. And then the reverse grid boys of Amari, Liam, Gaza, Dom and Andrew filled out the grid. Off the line and Adam got a lot better jump than Matt from the outside of the front row and managed to sweep round the outside at turn one to gain first place. Meanwhile in the midfield there was absolute carnage. As we're on board of Amari now, he's got Ramsey to his right and Ramsey bumps him into Liam. Liam spins across the track into Amari and the wall, leaving him well and truly last. Unfortunately for Frank, he didn't get past turn one either. Back at the front of the field and it was Gaz who led the field into the hairpin for the first time ahead of Matt. Ben who'd moved up the third ahead of Benji. Lance, Jeremy, Don was the meeting Amari and Ramsey sandwich. Gaz, Andrew and Liam who was playing catch up. Into the chicane for the first time and Andrew managed to squeeze his way past Ramsey. Gazza wasn't quite able to follow suit though. The battle for third was between Ben and Benji. Ben was trying to regain some points after a poor finish in the feature race for his standards. But on the exit of the chicane he clouted the wall, almost collecting Benji and somehow retaining the place. Gazza was getting heavily held up by Ramsey, but on the exit of Portier Ramsey even moved over or made a mistake, allowing both Spam Fritters racing boys through. Into Sandevot for the third time, and Ben brushed the wall on the exit, and that was all Benji needed for his invitation to drive past him to take third place. But by now, Lance was breathing down their necks, looking to capitalise on any mistakes, as he too was trying to make up lost ground after a dismal feature race. Andrew had now caught Dom and was looking to use his Mercedes power to full effect as they ran up towards Massenet. But he wasn't quite close enough and he had to slip in behind the Corvette driver. Amari was looking for a way past the rough of Jeremy, who upon reaching to back, decided to play pinball with the walls. But that didn't work out very well for him. There's first Amari. Dom. And Andrew all managed to get through. Gaz had to play patiently as he was unable to get through at the time. Meanwhile, Andrew got an excellent run out of final corner and pulled off an even better cut back up the hill and showed Dom what his Mercedes power is really about.
but it was this mistake from Dom at Raskas that led to Andrew's overtake. Jeremy was doing a good job of holding up Gazza and Liam until he ran into the wall at Massonet and the Spam Fritters boys do not need a second invitation to get past. In the battle for the lead, Matt was not going down without a fight as he got his guns out as the sun was out to show Adam he was no slouch. Matt was giving us the very definition of using every inch of the track as he brushed both walls on entry and exit. Lance was having a lot better sprint race. That was until lap 9 when he locked up going into Raskas. But Murray managed to slip through to take 5th. Still, 6th isn't so bad. Under increasing pressure from Andrew, coming through the swimming pool, and Lance went straight into the wall on the exit, spinning, almost taking out Dom, and losing five places, dropping him to 11th. Still, just outside the point, you can still recover some. Come on Lance, just outside the points, you can still get some. Oh fuck this, I give up. What are you doing, man? Sorry about that. Anyway, Amari was under increasing pressure from Andrew for fifth. As Andrew looked left, he looked right. And Amari was twitching all over the place as well. But despite Andrew's best efforts, couldn't quite find a way past. But at the front, it was Adam who held on to claim his first victory of the season ahead of Matt. Benji came home for a solid third. Ben held on for fourth place ahead of Amari, Andrew and Tom. Gazza and Liam were unable to make much progress as they finished 8th and 9th. And yet again, Jeremy picked up 10th place and 1 point. Finally, Gaza picked up small points. Andrew, however, was unable to capitalise. Ben, Benji and Liam are now separated by even less points than they were last race. Adam has finally been able to break away from Amari. Dom and Matt seem to be solo flyers. Nowhere near anyone else, really, in the points. Lawrence is still on 28 with Jeremy slowly picking him off. And Frank in 12th on 14. Constructors and there's absolutely no change at all. O and M are the only significant gainers after Adam's win, but it is still Spam Fritters ahead of Infinite Racing at the top. Max Power in fourth, Team America in fifth, Wacky Racing in sixth, and Flash Racing Team seventh. Adam finally managed to get the monkey off of his back with his first victory of the season but there's two questions that remain will you be able to kick on and will Jeremy ever not finish 10th let's find out in Zuhai <laughs>